Father Jimmy, your first Mass here, when you stepped through these doors, what was going through your head as you were about to celebrate your first Mass? It's just, uh, it's, it was a new role to be in, a new reality of being a priest, but it was homecoming. There was a lot of people in the pews. There was a lot of priests out there that had processed in before me. Just, I mean, I've, I've done, been in a lot of processions now or since I've been in the seminary, uh, but never in that position in line and recognizing like, okay, this, this is my first mass, but this place, St. Jude's, this is home. Now, as you got up to the presider's chair, you've sat in these pews several times before and have seen previous priests sitting there. So what was it like to sit in that presider's chair and look out now and see all these people here for your first Mass, your family and your friends? It was absolutely wonderful. It's, it is a reminder of the beautiful crucifix that I've been looking at as a child, which was one of really my image of Christ uh, there on the cross, which still is with us. Christ said, when I am raised from the earth, I will draw all men to myself. And there, front row, my parents and my brother. I looked out over here, one of my college friends I haven't seen in two years, and people from the parish, people from other parishes, uh, Catholics from afar, non-Catholics also from afar. It was a whole collection of the people that had been a part of my life, and many of whom I know in a very concrete ways, Christ was working with and through to bring me and call me and encourage me to this moment. It was absolutely wonderful. And to have a very unique view of one of my favorite parts of this church, which are the three stained glass windows of the Annunciation, the Visitation, and the Presentation. I will often sit now as an adult when I come home to pray in this pew, this section of pews, and pray with these images. They are absolutely wonderful. They fascinated me as a child. And now, as I was praying the Mass, I got to look up and pray once again with those images, knowing that they convey a reality, the reality of Christ coming among us, the reality of Christ's sacrificial love that was being presented yet again at that altar through these unworthy hands. Were you nervous at all? Any nerves up there? Or how were you just feeling overall? Well, there was points where it was, I don't know if nervousness is the right word, but it was, uh, a flood of excitement, I guess. I was, it was like, I am here. I am the priest. I am the principal celebrant celebrating this Mass. Like, I am standing in the person of Christ in a very real, very sacramental way right now. Uh, so there was moments as Father John Belenke was preaching, one of my dearest friends, a uh, role model to me, it was just like, this is, like, he's preaching, but I'm like, I'm the one that will approach the altar. And there I was at the altar. It was extraordinary, and it was lovely and being there and saying those words for the first time as the principal celebrant. I did con celebrate my ordination mass. It was just, yes, this was what I, my life is about. What are you most looking forward to about just your priestly ministry in general? Just the being and the identity of a priest and everything that will mean day in and day out daily celebrating the Mass for the people of God and from that strength, from that great love that we bear witness to, that is presented to us on that altar, going forth into each day, going forth into each moment, and walking alongside Christ, seeing what situations, what people, what new friends and family, what new life is going to be present down in this new place. What I'm meant to do for him. Yeah, it will be wonderful.